Hi guys, it's Alejandra from alwaysorderdessert.com. Today I'm going to show you one of my new favorite salty snacks. These are shishito peppers. They are a Japanese sweet pepper that you kind of flash fry on a skillet or you can grill them and serve them topped with lots of salt and lemon juice. They're absolutely amazing and totally addictive. I actually discovered these when I was in Mexico. Well. Disney World's version of Mexico at a little restaurant where they served them kind of blistered and a little bit grilled with some little mini chorizos. And they were so, so good that when I got back to New York, I was like, what are these amazing peppers? I need to find them and make them. And so after doing a little bit of Googling, I realized they were shishito peppers, um, which are, like I said, Japanese sweet peppers. I, I still don't know why they were serving them at the Mexican I, They might be Mexican also. But we can, you know, we're just going to, whatever, just go with it. Um, so the thing about these peppers are that they're mostly sweet, but every so often you get one that's a little bit spicy. Um, so it's, they say that's maybe like one in every ten are spicy. So you do get a little bit of a surprise every now and then, but it's, it's not unbearably so. So it's not like habaneros or anything crazy like that, not even like jalapenos. Um, and when you put the salt and the, uh, the lemon juice on them, they're not too bad. So apparently they call them shishito peppers because they, uh, shishi, I think, means uh, lion in Japanese. And so they say like the head of one of these looks a little bit like a lion. And if you look at it closely, like long enough, I think you do kind of see it. It has like little eyes and a little bit of a, a little snout there. So it's kind of cute. Um, so we are going to take these little peppers. And before you cook them, I'll show you a little trick. You want to take a little paring knife. And you just want to kind of get at the very tip, I guess right where the little lion's mouth. And you just want to cut a little slit so it opens up. This is going to keep them from bursting when you get them in that hot oil, in that hot pan. Um, and so that way you won't burn yourself. So I've, I've already cut these. I'm going to add this one too. And I've got these all ready to go. You literally don't have to do anything else to them. I mean, they've got that much natural flavor. I already have a skillet heating up. I'm going to get some olive oil. And I just want enough oil to cover the bottom of the pan. That's perfect. Just like that. It's already nice and hot because I got my pan hot before I added the oil. And now I'm just going to get these right into the oil. And they are going to start, let's see, get those over there. They're just going to start to cook. So I'm just going to leave them there for about three, four, maybe five minutes maximum. And they're very thin skin, so they, they cook quickly. And once they're just a little bit charred, they're basically ready to go. So I'm gonna let these go. I'm gonna get our little toppings ready in the meantime. And then we are gonna have ourselves a delicious salty snack. All right, these are ready. It literally takes just about four or five minutes. I'm gonna take them off the heat because they're so thin skinned that the uh, the hot oil cooks them right away. And you see how they have just that little bit of that blister right on the sides there? That's perfect. That's exactly what you want. And they don't need to be cooked all evenly because what I really like about them is that they have that kind of sort of the different textures. So one part of it's a little bit fresher than the other. So I'm just going to get these all on my plate to watch out because that oil can splatter a little bit. Keep that away from your skin. All right, so we have these up here. Put that oil back there. Okay, now we've got these here. And so I like to serve these with, you really want to put a lot of nice kind of coarse salt over them. Um, if you've got like a Maldon sea salt or some kind of really nice flaky Hawaiian, you know, pink Himalayan salt or something like that, definitely use that. This is definitely the place to use whatever fancy salt, you know, you got in that Christmas basket three years ago. Go for it because this is really a place where you're displaying, you know, you want that delicious salty flavor with the little bite of the peppers. And then you also want to serve them with a lemon wedge or two on the side. And then I just kind of let, you know, let people squeeze that citrus right over it. And again, you're getting that sort of tangy, tangy flavor. So I hope that you enjoy these shishito peppers.